Big Bang Theory is one of the first things we learned in our science classes. The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. It is believed that our universe, about 13.8 billion years ago, was nothing but a compressed ball with infinite density and intense heat. Within this little ball were all matter and all life. This little ball was called the singularity. This singularity exploded and expanded until it became the universe we see and live in today. However, the world of science has been shaken to its foundations recently as proof has surfaced that the Big Bang may not be the beginning of all things after all. To what then do we owe the creation of our universe? What discoveries could have caused such large paradigm shifts? Join us in this video as we explore the intricacies of the cosmos and the various explanations for many of the mysteries that make up our universe. After you see these images, you'll know that all that time and hard work was well worth it. Congratulations. In addition, we'll delve into an unbelievable scientific discovery on this issue, something that could prove an entire belief system correct. The James Webb Space Telescope, a device dedicated to watching the first galaxies created from the Big Bang, has brought some new truths to light. The James Webb, launched in 2021 to further study the stars, may have discovered that religion may not have been that far off from the truth. Since humans evolved enough to be curious about the world around them and beyond, they have spent time looking into the heavens and pondering the origins. With the advent of religion, humans imagined a higher power or realm controlling the affairs of the universe and, by extension, had to be responsible for its creation. Science, however, had other ideas, firmly sticking to the Big Bang Theory. Religion and science have stood on opposite sides of the conversation for a long time, never coming to a compromise or even attempting to meet in the middle. Based entirely on facts and visible, measurable data, the Big Bang holds the most plausible explanation for the birth of our universe. Religion, however, considers the exactness and precision of everything in the universe, stressing that a mere accident couldn't have caused all that we see today. Some sit on the cusp of science and religion, holding that the Big Bang was the precise moment God set the stage for the cosmic evolution that took place. They believe that there must be a being who created the exact conditions required for life to emerge and set in motion the genesis of our cosmic evolution at that very moment. This idea cannot be overlooked, as the universe's vastness and complexities unveiled by the Big Bang Theory only prove that there had to be a creator of far superior intelligence and depth of understanding. The universe is such that everything required to support life in any way is placed exactly where it is supposed to be. Even the minutest misalignment or shift from the normal would bring about a massive catastrophe that could destroy the planets. This level of precision forces us to ponder the universe's design and purpose, and more importantly, the existence of a higher power who may have orchestrated it all. While the Big Bang has brought us closer to understanding how our universe came to be, it also leaves so many questions unanswered. One of the biggest questions here is, what caused the Big Bang? The Big Bang Theory explains with a flourish the effects and repercussions of the Big Bang, but barely provides an answer to what caused the dense ball of hot matter to explode in the first place. As there can be no vacuum in knowledge, or anything at all, theologists and philosophers have taken on the challenge of filling the knowledge gap with raging discussions on what could be the ultimate source of the universe's existence. However, this is not all. The very nature of time is another mystery the Big Bang Theory brought to the fore. According to the theory, time, in its infiniteness, began after the Big Bang. And this begs the question, what if there was something or a being that existed outside the concept and limitation of time itself? Is it possible that something exists outside our observable universe? So we have an observable universe, but beyond that, even if there are things out there, there's no way we can see them because the light just could not have gotten to us by now. Besides the theory's inability to explain the cause of the Big Bang, it has also failed to explain some other phenomena, including the existence of dark energy and matter. One would think that there would be an explanation for the things that make up most of our universe, but strangely, we still know very little about them. This knowledge gap makes it all the more obvious that there is still much about our universe that we do not yet know. This implies that further exploration would reveal more about the universe than humanity has ever known. 
The James Webb Telescope is a 21th century wonder. It is the successor of the famous Hubble Telescope. The James Webb Telescope is a technological marvel made to obtain a deeper understanding of our cosmos. It is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments with cutting-edge engineering. The James Webb Telescope is twice as flamboyant as the Hubble Telescope. At the heart of the telescope is the primary mirror. The mirror is an astonishing 6.5 meters in diameter, surpassing the Hubble Telescope's 2.4 meters. The Webb Telescope's larger mirror means its ability to capture more light is significantly higher, increasing sensitivity and providing unparalleled resolution in the infrared spectrum. The magnificent light mirror is not all there is to the James Webb Telescope. Amongst the Webb Telescope's suite of scientific instruments are the near-infrared camera, the near-infrared spectrograph, and the mid-infrared instrument. All of these state-of-the-art instruments work in perfect synchronicity, and because of this, scientists, as well as astronomers, can delve deeper into the cosmos' mysteries by capturing extremely detailed images, collecting spectroscopic data, and can explore celestial phenomena across a wider range of wavelengths. The Webb Space Telescope is destined to be the world's next great observatory, and it really does belong to the world. These feats were impossible in the past. The shining glory of the James Webb Telescope is the near-infrared camera, this tool is designed to operate in the infrared spectrum. This tool was designed to detect wavelengths of light that are invisible to the human eye. It captures high-resolution images of distant celestial bodies with sharp clarity. Stars, galaxies, and nebulae are a few of the numerous bodies the James Webb Telescope captures. The near-infrared camera has been instrumental in capturing intricate details and structures without which they would have been impossible to study. Alongside that is the near-infrared spectrograph, which has special spectroscopic analysis capabilities. The near-infrared spectrograph breaks down the light received from celestial sources into its basic wavelengths. This allows scientists to study the unique spectral signatures of various astronomical objects. With these signatures, astronomers can determine celestial bodies' chemical composition, temperature, and motion, unraveling the secrets of their formation and evolution processes. The near-infrared spectrograph provides an in-depth understanding of the physical and chemical processes which occur in the universe. Completing this extensive suite of instruments is the mid-infrared instrument. This extends the telescope's capabilities into the mid-infrared range, which has been a little difficult to work with, according to history. The mid-infrared instrument operates a much longer wavelength than that of any telescope before it, the advantage of this is that we can study warmer objects like dust disks around young stars, exoplanetary atmospheres, and regions of intense star formation. The mid-infrared instrument captures detailed images and spectroscopic data in this crucial part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This offers valuable insight into the properties of celestial objects, which are formed predominantly in the mid-infrared. Together, these instruments form a more comprehensive and versatile astronomic exploration toolkit they enable our astronomers to observe celestial phenomena that occur at various wavelengths, revealing abundant details about our universe. In addition to its advanced technology, the James Webb Telescope will be positioned at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This region is known as the second Lagrange point. This position offers the telescope several advantages. Aside from the fact that being in a stable orbit in the second Lagrange point allows the telescope to maintain a fixed position relative to the Earth and the Sun, the position also cuts out the need for the telescope to constantly adjust its position or orbit. This offers the stability required for uninterrupted observations. In addition, being in L2 provides significant thermal benefits. The James Webb Telescope is generally equipped with a suite of highly sensitive instruments, all of which must operate at extremely cold temperatures to enable it to detect the faintest infrared signals from distant celestial objects. Positioning the telescope at the second Lagrange point can utilize a large sun shield to protect its sensitive instruments from direct sunlight and maintain a cool operating environment. The James Webb Space Telescope is intended to support astronomers around the world to investigate what are the first stars that formed after the Big Bang? How did the galaxies grow? The sun shield acts as an umbrella, shielding the telescope from direct impacts from the sun, moon, and Earth, minimizing heat sources from these bodies and allowing the instruments to operate at standard low temperatures. Being in L2 also provides an unobstructed view of the universe, 
This unobstructed view allows the telescope to observe the cosmos along various wavelengths, from the visible to the infrared. This enables the telescope to collect crucial data about the stars, galaxies, and exoplanets. Placing the telescope on the second Lagrange point significantly minimizes the interference from Earth's heat and electromagnetic signals. The telescope located so far away from our planet reduces the contamination of the telescope's observations by unwanted terrestrial signals, increasing its ability to capture faint and distant astronomical phenomena with clear precision. Besides these advantages, this strategic placement ensures that the telescope remains in a stable orbit, shielded from the heat of the sun and terrestrial interference from Earth. Operating at extreme sub-zero temperatures, specifically at minus 233 degrees Celsius, the telescope minimizes its thermal emissions, allowing for highly sensitive infrared observations. However, one of the most electrifying aspects of the James Webb Telescope is its ability to study the universe at its earliest. Due to the telescope's ability to study infrared light, which has longer wavelengths than visible light, it can easily look through cosmic dust clouds that haze our view and detect older lights that have traveled for billions of years. This allows the telescope to catch glimpses of times past when the universe was still in its infancy. This would provide unprecedented insight into the period shortly after the Big Bang, a time which is known as the Cosmic Dawn when the first cosmic bodies were formed. Through the James Webb Telescope's powerful sensors, scientists can now study and explore the birth of the universe, unraveling the processes that led to the formation of galaxies and gaining a deeper understanding of cosmic evolution. The telescope's infrared sensitivity allows it to access even the densest dust clouds, revealing hidden star-forming regions and providing a clearer view of distant galaxies. The fact that the James Webb Telescope can capture light from the early universe enables scientists to test and refine the cosmic inflation theory and the rapid expansion thought to have occurred shortly after the Big Bang. Through detailed observation of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the relic radiation from the universe in earlier times, we don't know why it banged. We don't know what banged. We don't know how it's banging. The telescope provides vital information about the universe at its earliest conditions and subsequent evolution. By mapping the distribution of galaxies along cosmic time, Scientists can now trace the growth of the cosmic web-like structures and understand the interrelationship between dark matter, dark energy, and visible matter. The James Webb Telescope's unrivaled capabilities will allow scientists to study the earliest galaxies that formed in the universe. One of the primary objectives of the JWST is to study exoplanet atmospheres. With its powerful spectroscopic instruments, the James Webb Telescope goes all out to analyze the composition of the exoplanet atmosphere, enabling scientists to search for potential signs of life. When scientists can detect the presence of life-supporting markers such as oxygen or methane, they can gather evidence to support the existence of habitable conditions on exoplanets. This groundbreaking research opens the doors to a deeper understanding of the possibility of life outside our planet. Additionally, the James Webb Telescope contributes to our understanding of the origin and evolution of planetary systems. Since it allows researchers to go in-depth because of their detail, like the ability to study protoplanetary disks, the swirling clouds of dust, and gases amongst young stars, they can investigate the process involved in forming planets. These observations provide all the necessary insights into the processes that shape planetary systems and the conditions that are necessary for the emergence of life-supporting worlds. The telescope's high-resolution capabilities also allow scientists to explore the mysteries of black holes. By studying the effects of gravitational lensing, scientists can explore the complex regions that surround black holes and can then put Einstein's theory of general relativity to the test under such extreme conditions. Gravitational lensing is a rather interesting phenomenon that takes place when the gravitational pull of massive objects, such as black holes or galaxy clusters, bends the path of light passing near them. This bending of light can create astonishing visual distortions, such as magnification or even multiplication of distant objects. Concerning black holes, gravitational lensing makes it possible to probe their immediate surroundings. The gravitational fields of black holes are intense and warp the fabric of space-time, forcing light to follow curved paths around it. As a result, the light emitted from background objects can be deflected, 
forming a pattern scientists call an Einstein ring. When these gravitational lensing effects are carefully observed, valuable information can be inferred about the black hole's mass, spin, and geometry alongside the distribution of matter in its vicinity. By comparing the observed lensing effects with Einstein's theory of general relativity predictions, researchers can assess its validity in extreme gravitational environments. These observations provide highly valuable data to unravel the mysterious nature of black holes and deepen our understanding of the fundamental laws governing the universe. The James Webb Telescope's discoveries have the potential to challenge what we know from the Big Bang Theory and provide new insights, raising intriguing questions. If the telescope detects evidence of structures or patterns that deviate from the expected distribution from the Big Bang Theory, it could open up new possibilities and alternative explanations for the origins of the universe. The further evidence of the deliberate and delicate fine-tuning of the universe provided by the James Webb Telescope only fuels the thought of a divine presence overlooking the affairs of the universe. Thanks for watching and make sure to click the video on your screen for our next episode. I'll see you there.